Imagine a world where humanity has evolved to the point of having godlike abilities. You can travel across different universes and manipulate time itself. Welcome to the realm of a Type 7 civilization. Sounds fascinating, right? But how do we get there? Today, we'll embark on a journey through the future, showing you how humanity could progress from our current state to the advanced heights of a Type 7 civilization. Before diving into these futuristic civilizations, let's first discuss the Kardashev scale itself, a system used to measure a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy it can harness. The Kardashev scale was proposed by Russian astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964 as a way to categorize civilizations by their energy consumption. Although Kardashev originally defined only three levels, others have since expanded the scale to include up to seven types. Let's start with where we stand today. Despite all our technological advancements, we're still classified as a Type Zero civilization. This means we have not yet harnessed even a fraction of the energy our planet could offer. We continue to burn fossil fuels and rely on non-renewable energy sources, using only about 0.00001% of the energy the Earth receives from the Sun. Scientists estimate we currently sit at approximately 0.72 on the Kardashev scale. But don't worry, we're not stuck here forever. Projections suggest that we could reach Type 1 status within the next 100 to 200 years. Reaching a Type 1 civilization means harnessing all the energy available on our planet. This would involve capturing the total energy output of Earth, including solar, wind, geothermal, and even tidal energy. At this level, humanity would have complete control over Earth's natural resources and environmental systems, allowing us to prevent or mitigate natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. To achieve this, we need major advancements in energy production, storage, and distribution. Companies are already working towards cleaner and more efficient energy solutions. For example, innovations like zero-voltage switching inverters can optimize the conversion of electricity, making it more efficient to store and utilize renewable energy. Quantum computing and artificial intelligence will also be key components of a Type 1 civilization, enabling unprecedented technological advances in medicine, communication, and interplanetary travel. In a Type 1 society, interplanetary travel would become routine. Moon bases and colonies on Mars might be as common as vacations to distant countries. The global economy would see dramatic changes with a unified global currency and a highly interconnected society. With enough clean energy, catastrophic natural events could be minimized or even eliminated. Imagine being able to control a Category 5 hurricane or deflect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Those capabilities would be within reach. As as we advance to a Type 2 civilization, the stakes get even higher. At this level, a civilization harnesses the total energy output of its star. In our case, that means capturing all the energy radiated by the sun. The theoretical megastructure often proposed to achieve this is known as a Dyson Sphere, a vast shell that surrounds the star, absorbing and converting solar energy. Alternatively, a Dyson Swarm consisting of smaller, orbiting structures could also do the job. Mastering Type II technology would give humanity almost unlimited energy, enabling large-scale projects like terraforming planets. We could modify the atmospheres of Mars or Venus to make them more Earth-like, allowing us to establish permanent colonies. 
advanced genetic engineering would also enable humans to adapt more quickly to different planetary environments, making us a multi-planetary species. With such power, we could even engineer the weather on other worlds or manipulate entire planetary systems. At this point, signals from our energy consumption would be detectable across the galaxy, possibly attracting the attention of other advanced civilizations. The signature of a Type II civilization, immense amounts of energy radiating from a central star, might be a beacon that leads us to contact extraterrestrial life. A Type III civilization controls energy on a galactic scale. This level would involve harnessing the power of an entire galaxy, potentially through the use of multiple Dyson spheres or other energy-capturing megastructures around numerous stars. Type III civilizations would be capable of interstellar travel, colonizing and exploiting the resources of countless planets. At this stage, artificial intelligence and cybernetics would be ubiquitous, with potential AI-human hybrids or even fully digital consciousness. A civilization like this could manipulate black holes for energy or use stars as launching points for intergalactic travel. Advanced spacefaring technology would make exploring other galaxies a feasible endeavor, opening the door to unfathomable scientific discoveries and possibly even interactions with other advanced civilizations. Moving to Type IV, a civilization now harnesses the energy of an entire universe. This would involve tapping into exotic sources of energy like dark matter, or even manipulating the fabric of space-time itself. Such a civilization would be virtually omnipotent, capable of altering the fundamental laws of physics. At this level, advanced beings could potentially achieve immortality through digital consciousness or other means, and communication might occur instantaneously across the universe via quantum entanglement. A Type V civilization is essentially a multiverse civilization, able to manipulate the energy of multiple universes. This goes beyond even the known laws of physics, as such a civilization would have the capability to create or destroy entire universes. Imagine being able to navigate parallel dimensions or even simulate entire realities. Type V beings would essentially be godlike. At Type VI, a civilization transcends the boundaries of existence itself. They would possess total control over all aspects of reality, potentially able to exist in multiple dimensions and manipulate them at will. Concepts like time and space would be entirely under their control, allowing them to rewrite history or travel across different points in the timeline. Finally, we reach Type 7, where a civilization would be indistinguishable from the universe itself. This civilization would embody all aspects of existence, possibly creating and sustaining entire universes as effortlessly as we build cities. At this point, the line between a civilization and the cosmos becomes blurred, with beings existing as fundamental components of the multiverse. The Kartashev scale provides a fascinating framework for imagining the future of human civilization, from our current struggles to harness energy on Earth to the far-flung realms of cosmic omnipotence. Each step on this scale represents exponential growth in our ability to shape our destiny and perhaps one day even the fate of the universe itself. If you're as fascinated by these possibilities as we are, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on more mind-bending content. Let us know in the comments what do you think the future holds? Could humanity ever reach Type 7? Or is there a limit to our potential? Let's explore the possibilities together.